What's up guys, welcome to Phenom Sound. If you ever wondered if there's some easy way of color-based sound design, you are in the right place because I'm going to show you some nice little tricks that a lot of pro color-based producers are using. And here's a little demo that we are going to be looking at in this video. As always, you can get this project, serum presets from it and samples on my Patreon page. Here's the link to it, don't miss out and there are a lot of interesting content. Plus this will be a huge support and boost for my channel to make more videos and to make them more often. So the answer to all of these sounds is the Pitch Map. It's an extremely powerful pitch correction plugin. I would call it a mix of autotune and vocoder, but while autotune can only work with one pitch correction band, Pitch Map can pitch correct little frequency bands along the whole spectrum of the sound, which is just brilliant. But as you could guess, this requires a huge amount of calculations and this plugin is very resource intensive. My laptop is literally dying as soon as I put like four or five pitch map plugins in the one particular project. So consider sample things while you're working with pitch map. Here I'm using some simple old school growl. And as soon as I'm turning on the pitch map, here we go. What's happening is the color base. Once again. I guess we can call it magic. So as about the setup of the pitch map, I'm currently using the D key and pentatonic minor. I'm also a big fan of Lydian chords, which is nice, brings some vibrant atmosphere, but pentatonic minor, natural minor, all those kinds of minor chords sound more generic to me. Very cheerful, bright and color basish. So here we got a couple of more settings. Uh, there is an electricity knob, which does something like this. So less electricity, the sound is cleaner. So in this case, we are going to probably keep this knob below the middle position. The glide setting speaks for itself. The changing of the pitch is corresponding to the value of this knob. So it's also better to keep it low. The purify knob is basically the most important one. It's, I would say it's a mix. It's a dry wet knob. So as soon as you drag this knob down, you will get more clean sound. Sounds like our, our original growl. But as soon as you bring it all the way up, you will get a full color base boost. And this is what we are looking for. So fill and threshold buttons also change the color of the sound a bit, but nothing too significant. So it's all up to you how to set up these two knobs. And if you are not satisfied with all those chords types, you can click on MIDI map and program your own set of notes. So here I have another example. Growl sounds pretty much the same. But the setup of the pitch map is a bit different. We have more electricity on this one. And the fill and the threshold are a bit different. Also, I am using Autopan on this channel 
to make this sound really wide and this one a bit more narrow. So together it sounds like this. And as you add some drums and sub bass, you will get something like this. Awesome! Here I have another example of a very cool color based trick. I've showed you something similar in one of my previous tutorials on color base. Uh, it's a very interesting use of the EQing. It's when you pick in some really narrow frequency bands and creating a chord progression using these frequencies. Let me show this real quick. Here I've created a little loop using a layering of a couple of sounds. Most of them are also being processed using the pitch map. So I get something like this. We could easily use it in the mix. But I decided to go for some experiments and pitch this all down. And I wanted some more harmonies in this sound. So I've used some uh, Fab Filter Pro Q and boosted some frequencies. In this case it's four different bands and each frequency is responsible for each separate note. Check this out. So in this case it's on 445 hertz. The same with the rest of the bands, 4100. So I've added some OTT compressor, little stereo imaging and transient processor to the sound. Then we are getting something like this. Let me quickly disable this situation. But what if we want some chord progression? For example, in this part we want to switch to some different chords and this one to another one. So I've created three different instances of the EQ. It's quite a tricky way of doing this, but in case if you are looking for some experiments, I decided to show you this way. So I, on the second instance of the EQ, I have different set of frequencies and on the third one, another different frequencies. I've picked them all using my ears only, but Probably you will find some mathematical algorithms to find this perfect set of frequencies which are corresponding with the notes. I don't know. So I'm automating the volume of this EQs and we are getting something like this. And this is what we've got. Sounds quite interesting, isn't it? You can resample it and go ahead and add some more post-processing. You can use vocoder. You can use a lot of different instruments to, to mix uh, different techniques for your color-based music. You, there's basically no limits for, to what you can do. But those are probably two the most uh, popular 
among the pro color based producers. Also, it's very important to not over pitch map in your tune because in most cases you will get better results by mixing pitch map sound design with the regular clean sounds. So I'm sure you already know what to do. And finally, I have a very important announcement. My Discord server is finally active, set up and waiting for you. So go ahead and join it. I will be really happy to see you there. I'm all ears to your propositions how to make this channel really interesting and fun. I think you have a lot of interesting ideas on how to improve it. Also, I've created different channels with audio previews of all of my serum presets pack, sample packs and FL Studio projects from my Patreon. So you can easily have a listen to what you will get after becoming my patron and decide if you want to join my patron page. We also have a sample and preset sharing channel there. So if you have some interesting stuff of your own, I bet a lot of other guys would be happy to get this stuff from you and also you will get some nice interesting stuff from other community members. So this is looking very exciting. Maybe some of you will find a pal to collaborate with on some tune, this will, this will also make me real happy. And finally, you can showcase your music there. We will all be happy to hear your tunes, official releases or some demos. Go ahead and feel free to share it with the Phantom Sound community. Maybe sometimes I will be showing some of my demos and I will be looking for your feedback. So you're very welcome to Phantom Sound Discord server. Here's the link once again. So hope you really enjoyed this video. I wish you a lot of inspiration and see you in my next video. Bye.